Yo, what's up sa inyo mga kabalita? WB muli. At tayo nandito muli sa ating video reaction o dito sa ating news reaction. At tayo nandito sa Pinas News Insider. At ito mga kabalita, kakapasok lang. Grabe si Press BBM lang. Nakagawa nito Aquino at Dilawan. Iyak. Bubuwagin na PCGG. At yun mga kabalita, i-play na natin kung ano nilalaman ng video to. Game. Ito ang balita ngayon. Viral at trending ngayon sa mundo ng social media. Ang di umano'y balitang. Mm -hmm. Matapos kumpirmadong balita na binuwag na ni President Bongbong Marcos Jr. Mm -hmm. ang Presidential Anti-Corruption Commission ay tila balibalitang isusunod na rin ang Presidential Commission and Good Government mm -hmm. o ang PCGG na itinayo ng dating Pangulong Cory Aquino. Ito ay exclusive na balita na gumalantang lalo na sa oposisyon nang wala pa man sa limang oras ay tila may panibagong pasabog na mangyayari alin sunod sa mga di umano'y executive order na ipapatupad ni President Bongbong Marcos Jr. Pero bago natin simula ng balitang ito please huwag kalimutang i-like ang video at subscribe at i-click ang notification bell para mas maging updated pa kayo lalo sa lahat pa ng bagong videos na i-upload namin at eto na nga mga kababayan Tunay na nagulat ang sambayan ng Pilipino sa naging executive order na ipinagutos ni President Bongbong Marcos na buwagin ang Presidential Anti-Corruption Commission na binuo ng Duterte Administration na siyang pinamumunuan ng dating senatorial aspirant na si Creco Bileca sa isang order na nilabas sa press briefing. Kinumpirma mismo ng Malacanang na buwag na ang PACC at maaring tila sundan pa ito ng ilang mga komisyon sa gobyerno na hindi napapakinabangan ng maraming tao. Bukod sa pagbabalik ng PCOO, Office of the Secretary, kinumpirma din ni President Bongbong Marcos Jr. na kanyang nilagda ang Executive Order No. 1 na siyang direktibang mag-uutos na buwagin ang nasabing komisyon. Ayon mismo sa pag-uutos ni President Bongbong Marcos Jr., sa exclusive report na nilabas ng The Manila Times, Marcos abolished PACC, Cabinet Secretary Office. President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos has abolished the Presidential Anti-Corruption Commission, PACC, in the office of the Cabinet Secretary, citing the need for a just allocation of resources amid the current COVID-19 and fiscal crisis. The President signed on June 30, Executive Order, I put a copy of which was only released to the media on Thursday. The administration endeavors to achieve a comprehensive and meaningful recovery through a just allocation of resources and a simplified internal management and a government of the office of the president in its immediate offices and common staff support system, Marcos said in his order. In order to achieve simplicity, economy and efficiency and bureaucracy without affecting disruption in internal management and government, the administration shall streamline processes and procedure by reorganizing and abolishing duplicated and overlapping official function. Matapos ang kompirmasyon mula mismo sa loob ng Malacanya noong June 30 pa ay pinabuwag na ni President Bongbo Marcos Jr. ang PACC at ang Office of the Government Secretary at tila muling nabuhay ang usap-usapan na maari nang isunod sa pagbuwag ang Presidential Commission and Good Government o ang PCGG na itinayuno o ni dating Pangulong Cory Aquino. Ayon mismo sa ilang mga reliable source ay ginawa lamang raw para paginitan di umano ang pamilya Marcos lalo na ang di umano'y questionabling yaman raw nito o ang ill-gotten wealth Gunit ilang dekada raw ang nagdaan tila pilit at walang napatunayan ng PCGG na nakaw raw ang yaman ng pamilya Marcos magmula ng nanungkulangan dating Pangulo Kaya't ayon mismo sa ilang taga-suporta ni President Bongbong Marcos Jr., isunod na nga raw niya ang buwagin ng PCGG. Dahil wala naman raw itong tila na itulong at puro aligasyon lamang raw patungkol sa kanilang pamilya. Kahit ilang dekada raw ang nagdaan, ay tila walang naipanalong kaso ang mga nagakusa sa pamilyang Marcos laban sa tila di umano'y tinatagong yaman raw ng kanilang pamilya. Dahil ayon mismo sa ilang mga Marcos loyalists, 
ni Pisong Kusingraw ay walang ninakawang dating unang pamilya. Ano na ang yung magiging reaksyon at komento? Matapos ang balibalita, ang pagbuwag ng PACC ay siyang magiging hudyat na buwagin na raw ni President Bongbong Marcos ang PCGG na itinayo ng dating Pangulong si Cory Aquino. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Thank you, uh, our Trade and Industry Secretary, uh, Secretary Fred Pascual, the Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps who are with us uh, this afternoon, uh, Interior and Local Government Secretary Benjamin Abalos Jr., the Go Negocio founder uh, Joey Concepcion III, fellow workers in government, our most important uh, partners in the private sector, other distinguished guests. Apunga uh, manalon ang ating magsasa mga magsasaka sa kanilang saka ay binubuhay nila ang lahat ng bawat Pilipino. Magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. My warmest welcome to all of you as we hold the ceremonial signing of the Memorandum of Agreement on the Kapatid Angat Lahat Agri Program or CALAP. I am very pleased to be in your company today as we take this time to confirm and express our collective earnestness in driving our nation forward. We know very well how MSMEs are crucial in the creation of new ideas of jobs and wealth in the country. So it is only right that we recognize the power and the influence that this sector holds. We also recognize the role of big corporations in inviting MSMEs, spurring their growth and realizing their potential. Hence, I am very happy to note the objective of the CALAP to integrate small farmers and agri-entrepreneurs into the value chain of large companies. This will enable farmers and MSME to become more productive, profitable, sustainable, and globally competitive. As such, I express my utmost gratitude to the Philippines Center of Entrepreneurship Go Negocio Advocacy for your team's dedication to fostering more productivity, profit, and sustainability in our local markets. All the efforts you invest in our economy, particularly in the agricultural sector, are truly instrumental in bringing progress across our lands. Mm -hmm. And at this point, I think it is correct to uh, take a few words and talk about Joey Concepcion, who has been heading this. He has been prominent recently in uh, bringing together these partnerships, bringing together these synergies in our economy, especially to help our MSMEs and in the process strengthening our middle class. And it is only recently that we see him quite so prominent, but he has been doing this for most of his professional life. And I think he deserves a, a very robust round of applause for all the work that he has done. These partnerships that Go Negocio has been fostering for many, many years are precisely the kind of partnerships that we are hoping to bring together. I have always said that in the difficulties that we are facing ahead, there is no sector of society that can manage the recovery by itself. And it cannot be done unless the different sectors of society are working together, working together and trying to implement a plan with a common understanding of what is needed to be done, with a common understanding of what people need, with, without forgetting every part of, that, uh, of uh, that sector or that area of the economy. In agriculture, for example, sometimes we get caught up because productivity is so important. And uh, we get caught up in all these grand plans about what is it that we need to do? What are the big projects that we need to implement uh, so that our productivity increases? And sometimes what gets lost in that discussion is what is going to be the profit that goes back to the farmers. And in the end, this is really what it's all about. It is about a decent living for our farmers so that our farmers can live by virtue of their hard work that they can besides just surviving that they can hold out hope within themselves that soon one day we can do more we will buy more property we will build a business there is hope 
and there is a chance for them to better themselves in their life, for their families, for their communities. That is what we are trying to do. And that's what Go Negocio has been doing for a very long time. However, now, I am very, very happy to be able to say that the government is, be, is, is very supportive of all of these kinds of uh, partnerships that we need to bring together. And perhaps these have been going on for a good long time, but perhaps with government support, we will be able to give it an added impetus so that we progress much more quickly and we progress much further. So this is my dream, as is it is, I'm sure, all of your dreams. And I hope that uh, little by little, we will achieve that dream. And one day, we will be able to say, our uh, uh, millennial farmers, <laughs> as we have managed to uh, bring down the, far the, the, far the farmers, eh? our millennial farmers are using the best technologies with the complete support of a value chain that supports them and it supports their needs and is producing for our country and making our country safe, making our country secure, and making our country a viable player in the international market. One day. We will do this, but we need all of you and we need everyone in our society to pull together to be able to do this. At yun na nga mga kababayan, ano na ang masasabi mo? Kung mayroon kayong hinaingat komento tungkol sa video na ito, please comment down below. Pag-uusapan natin yan sa comment section. At yun na nga mga kabalita natin na kung saan ito nga yung pagbuwag sa PACC nga mga kabalita natin na kung saan eh. Sana nga isunod na rin yung uh, PCGG. Sapagkat yun nga mga kabalita natin, no, na wala naman daw pakinabang dito sa pamahalaan. Tila nga ba, eh, nasasayang nga lang daw dito yung mga pondo, no, mga kabalita natin. Na sinasabi nga, eh, tila ba, eh, wala daw pakinabang no, mga kabalita natin. At yun nga, may sunod na rin yung uh, PCGG na kung saan, eh, ganun din naman mga kabalita natin. Sapagkat, eh, nabuo nga lang daw yun. Dahil nga, syempre, sa Pamilya Marcos no sa pag-iimbestiga uh, sa mga nakaw na yaman na hanggang ngayon na eh, hindi pa rin napapatunayan no mga kabalita natin at yun at ilang uh, talumpati mula sa ating pangulo ang uh, ibinigay diyan no ibinahagi diyan sa bidyong yan mga kabalita natin at yun lamang mga kabalita natin sa mga nais magkomento eh pwede kayo magkomento sa ibaba ng nais niyo ikomento at yun mga kabalita natin mula yun nagpapasalamat tayo sa patuloy niyo nga uh, pagsuporta at pagsubaybay at syempre sa pagsusub subscribe sa ating channel at ito muli ang inyong WB hanggang sa muli nating pagkikita mga kabalita